Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are working on our thingamabobby again. We're working on our thingamabobby once again. Uh, as you guys can see right here, we need some sort of stabilization to stop us from going so far forwards. Um, like so far up at the front. Um, what we're going to do is we're probably going to add some sort of weight. We're going to add some weights in the front somewhere like here. We might even add some sort of fuel tank, maybe a water tank or something like that would be kind of cool. Um, if we go all the way to the back end, we have nothing all the way back here. Uh, but someone was saying that adding all of these together, having them all in the same pipe, um, actually lowers the power. I'm not so sure how true that is, but um, it might be true. I don't know. I don't know. The way the game works, I'm not so sure. Uh, but what I, was, what I was thinking instead was we could add, um, we could basically be a diesel electric cargo ship. Where we have two big diesel motors at the, oh, two big electric motors at the back. We'll have those three diesel engines creating electricity with big old uh, generators. And um, yeah, that would actually work pretty well. So we might end up doing that. I'm not so sure. Uh, but for right now, I, I actually like the way it looks. What I want to do today is I actually want to add some sort of dials and stuff in here to make sure that I can see how fast we're going, etc, etc. Um, stuff like that would be actually be pretty cool. Um, I'm also going to work on making this room downstairs look a little bit nicer as well. We might add some lights inside here and also some like coats and stuff like that um, so that we know we've got all of the equipment for whatever we need the equipment for, basically. So uh, yeah, we'll do a bunch of that stuff today. Let's get on with it. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and get some dials. Here we go. This is exactly what we need. We need probably a bunch of these. In fact, actually, how about we use the smaller dials? I can't remember what it's called. I don't even know what it's called, actually. Um, but it's somewhere down here. There is a dial that we need that uh, we, we don't know what it is. I don't, oh, I don't know what it is. There it is. There it is right there. Instrument panel. That's exactly what we need. All right, cool. So if we can somehow put this inside, inside here, we'll go ahead and we'll delete like one of those there. One of those there. We'll do it on both sides so that we know what we're doing. We'll go ahead and shove one of these in each side. However, they do want to go the right way up, of course. So we'll go ahead and put them in the right way up. Beautiful. We'll have a clock right in the middle. We'll then have a compass in there as well and stuff like that. That should be pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and get a compass ball. We'll have one of those. We'll have a clock. Uh, we don't need an artificial horizon, I don't think. Uh, but a clock would be kind of nice. There we go. Clock, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and put this right in the center. And there we go, good. And we'll go ahead and put these. We'll probably put one clock in there. And uh, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be A-OK. -okay. Put the clock right there. Can we have it the right way up though? That'd be great as well. There we go, clock's the right way up. Fantastic. Let's then go ahead and grab one more thing, which is going to be a uh, an actual dial. I want a dial. Where is the dial? Uh, I don't see it. I don't see the dial. Where is it? Where is she? Um, I don't see the dial. Why don't I see the dial? Oh, there it is. All right, there it is right there. We got it. Don't worry. All uh, right, okay, cool. Put this in here. Turn it around. There we go. Right, that is correct. That actually looks pretty cool. Now, I've never really worked with these before, so I'm not entirely sure what to do. Uh, but what I'm thinking is that we add a bunch of sensors on this one for an engine, maybe, possibly. We do the same on the other side for the other engine. We will have another one somewhere else, probably next to this one for the other engine, and this one can be our speed, because that seems okay. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. So, to begin with, let's go up here, and we'll go RPS, uh, engine one, RPS, there we go, good. All right, cool, that's nice. We'll go in the second one, engine two, RPS. Oh, actually, we'll put all the RPS on all of these on one side, there we go. Engine three, RPS. All right, cool. And the last one can be something else. Like, it could be a dial, it could be an indicator, it could be a gauge. It could be anything, to be totally honest. It doesn't really matter. Um, we could just leave it as none, I suppose. So we could actually do this, and that would be fine. Let's go ahead and logic those up. How do I logic those? Oh, how do we even do this? Uh, okay, I haven't, I haven't thought this through. Enables backlight. Okay, well, we don't really need that. Is it a compot? Yeah, it is. Of course it is. Okay, I don't really know how to work with these things. I really don't. Alrighty, anyway, after saying that I don't know how to work with those things, if we go inside, it is now currently working. As you guys can see, engine 3 RPS, engine 2 RPS, and engine 1 RPS. They're like the wrong way around, but that is okay. Um, if we have a little look at these, if I go ahead and turn this on, you guys will see that it does start working. There you go. If we go ahead and we throttle up, 
it starts working even more. Look at that. Beautiful. And then if we go ahead and put the clutch in, you guys will see that the RPS goes all the way down to three. Uh, which does mean that we... Oh, there we go. There we go. We're going. Uh, we do list quite a bit as well. But uh, they do actually show the engine RPS, and they're all pretty much the same. So we don't really need all of these. We should really only go with one, but it doesn't really matter. We've got them all in, and they work, so that's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the speed thing in next, and then we'll work on these ones as well. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go from there. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to do as well was I wanted to round off all of these thingy-mabobbies. Now, Murtak, Sir Murtak, give me some uh, advice. He said, literally, just attach a bunch of these to the thingy-mabobby and then bring them down. There we go. And then do the same thing for literally every single one of these. Uh, and it should work out pretty A-OK, -okay, which indeed, it should work out A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I, I agree with him. Uh, and yeah, it's a good idea to do it. So we'll, we'll actually work on making it rounded and uh, making it look pretty instead of being all boxy and stuff. And this is the easiest way of doing it. So, um, yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and paint this real quick and I'll show you guys what I mean. Basically, all we need to do now is grab this, put it in there, turn it around. Oh, wait, wait, it didn't actually grab it. All right, there we go. Grab this, turn it around. There we go. We can literally just put that in there, put that in there as well. Uh, we obviously need to change the color of these. So, in fact, actually, I'll do it first. There we go. And then all we need to do is we need to flick them around. There we go. We can put them all in. There's one. There's two. There's three. Three, there's four. Oh, wait, can I not put that one in properly? There we go, there's four. And there's probably another one that I need to do that I've missed. But I think we are all good there. I just need to do this for every single one of them. And then we should be good to go. Oh, and also I should say as well, Simotech actually helped me with the uh, the microcontrollers as well. He, he gave me the microcontrollers to make these work, which is awesome. And I've put it inside and I've put it uh, down here somewhere on top of the fuel tank. And it works completely fine from there, which is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, this is the finished product, almost. I just need to put this one piece in, and then there we go. That's the finished uh, curving. Curving? Bending. And I've already only done it on one side, because I'm stupid. Uh, but what we can do is we can go ahead and we can copy this one, and we can paste it all the way along. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go from there, I believe. Yeah. All right, I've got an idea. I'll be able to do this. Don't worry. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and copy all of these pieces. We want to go all the way down and we want to go all the way sideways. Yes, we need to go all the way down to the bottom piece, which is this one. There we go. Good. We only need like the specific amount, which is this much. We need to go back one there as well. We'll go ahead and we'll copy this. All right, we'll drag it outwards. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll delete a bunch of stuff that we don't really need. Wait, did I paste that? I don't think I pasted it. All right, we'll paste this here. And then we need to delete a bunch of things, which is all of this. There we go. Delete all of those. Delete the rest of these pieces as well. Uh, all of this. There we go. Good. Yeah, we're slowly doing it. We're slowly doing it. It's okay. There we go. All of this. All of this. All right, these pieces and this piece. There we go. This will allow me to just drag all of these and paste them on all of those, and it should work fine. The only problem is that we do have an angle piece right here, so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Uh, but that is fine, I think. Uh, so all we need to do is clear this, copy this. I'll cut this. There we go. Take it over to the side. Uh, if we possibly can, that would be great. There we go. Go ahead and move it into the right position, which is there, I think. Yeah, that is the right place. And as you guys can see, it covers all the corners and it works. Nice. Okay, so there's one whole side done. Now, this does need to be merged all together because as you guys can see, it's all multicolored. If we go ahead and we merge these together, we can literally go all the way along and it'll get less and less multicolored as we go. Uh, we'll just go ahead and attach that to there. That's good. We'll do all of these ones as well. And we should be good to go from there. There we go. Beautiful. Once all of these things are attached, it looks fantastic. Now, I don't have these pieces done at the bottom. But they really don't matter anyway because we can't see them. So uh, I'm going to leave them like they are. Obviously, it is only one side done as well. We haven't done the other side. But it definitely looks way better than when it's finished like this than uh, when it's just blocky like that. So we'll go ahead and finish all of these pieces as well. Once I've done all of those, we'll, uh, I guess we could copy this whole side to the other side. Uh, and that shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Um, oh, it might be. It might be a big problem. We'll see. We'll see. All right, there we go. They're all merged together, and I've actually done the entire this side as well. So there we go. The whole shaping is completely done, and it looks beautiful. I really like the way that looks. Um, we do have a little bit of a problem, though. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that right there. We're also going to paint all the top pieces so that they don't look so stupid, all being, like, blue. Uh, there's no point in them being blue, so we'll go ahead and make them all white. There we go. Hopefully this is being mirrored to the other side. I believe it is. Yes, it is indeed. And we'll go ahead and do this one as well. There we go. And we'll also 
grab a one of these we'll grab one of these and we'll go ahead and finish this off like this there we go i feel like that looks way better um also quick question so we do have these smokestacks on the front what i was thinking was that we could have air just the air intakes being on the top and we'll have an exhaust system on the bottom for all the exhaust to go out the bottom end of the ship rather than having smokestacks to like cover up our vision because uh, at the minute we won't be able to see but you know that's okay Anyway, um, so that's all done. That's good. That is really good. If we go inside here, let's go ahead and create ourselves. I, I mean, a radio room would be kind of nice, right? So let's get some passenger seats. Passenger seats. We can go ahead and grab some of these and we can put them in. There we go. Let's, uh, let's go with brown ones. Brown passenger seats are cool. There we go. Brown. Good. We'll go ahead and put them back a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put like two of them down here, this side, two of them down that side. And we'll go ahead and put in a brown table as well. Yes, there we go. There we go, and we'll do it a little bit bigger here as well. In fact, actually, the table can go all the way along. That's fine. Uh, can we add these pieces here? No, we can't. All right, delete one row, and we'll put in, like, one of these all the way along. And that is beautiful. That's good. That is really good. Uh, then we need some sort of, like, computer monitors. I feel like that's what we need. We'll do a big old bar. Big old bar? Big old thing like that. That's okay. And this will be, like, a radio operator's room. That seems like a good idea to me. Anyway, we need to go downstairs. Uh, we'll have like a um, a room down here for the the captain. The captain to sleep in this room. Uh, and basically we need a door for the dude. So we'll go ahead and grab this. And we'll put it in here. We'll spin it around so that we can just see the door. Move it inwards. So that, yeah, there we go. Beautiful, that's good. We'll then go from here all the way over to there. And that'll be like the captain's room. The captain's room. Just for the captain. Alright, okay, cool. We do need to do it from there. All over to there, that's good. We also need a button somewhere, um, which this won't work for the button, because you can't put a button here. What I would like on the doors is for there to be able to be like a, an automatic button, put her in or her. That would be quite good. That would be really cool. Uh, but for right now, we're going to have to go around the corner to press the button. Oh, I guess we could just put two buttons together. That would work as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get some buttons, and we'll go ahead and connect those up. Here we go. Uh, push buttons, that'll do. We'll go ahead and shove that in there. And we'll put another one. Oh, wow, this room is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we'll put another button, I guess, on the side. Yeah, like next to that one. There we go. That's fine. There we go. We'll go ahead and put that in there like that. That seems fine by me. We'll go ahead and then merge these two together, kind of. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. And then we'll have these connected there. And voila. That should be A-OK. -okay. Now all we need is power. So once they've all got power, we'll go ahead and connect these dudes together. There we go. And we'll connect them to there. Now that we've all got power, we can actually get into that room and do whatever we want in there. And what we want to do is we need a bed. Okay. Go ahead and get ourselves a quick bed. Oh, whoops. We go ahead and put the bed in here. Uh, we'll have it, like, in the air, suspended slightly um, by this. There we go. Just do that. There we go. And we'll make it red. Yeah, sure. We'll have a red bed. Red bed. I mean, it looks really dark, but I think that's okay. Uh, we'll make the sides of it white. There we go. And we'll have red bedding. Yeah, seems good. Um, do want to make the walls a slightly different color, and I guess we'll go with, I don't really know, cream? I have a cream wall. Yeah, let's have some cream walls. Beautiful. I mean, really disgusting, but beautiful. I like that. That's nice. I mean, it's not nice, but that's nice, that is. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and do the back wall as well. There we go. We'll do all the walls. We'll do all the walls this color, which is not nice, but, uh, we'll keep it anyway. That's okay. There we go. All of the walls, please. All of the walls. Except from the uh, the front wall. Oh, no. I've done it now. I've done it now. Oh, never mind. That's okay. There we go. We'll color all these in as well. Uh, it'll be part of the room. Yeah, beautiful. All right. This piece as well. Yes. And then we need the floor to be a slightly different color. So we'll go ahead and make it brown. Brown floor? Yeah. Man, I'm not very good at interior design, especially in this game. Um, there's just nothing for it. You know what I mean? There's nothing for interior design, but hey ho, there we go. We've done it. We've done it. All right, cool. So this dude in here, um, being the captain or whatever, can have his own desk. Can have his own little desk in the corner. All right. So we'll have a desk inside the door. In fact, actually, you can't really have a desk, can you? Because it's not a very big room. Um, right. Okay. That's fine though. That's fine. We can definitely make a desk anyway. There we go. Go ahead and do this. All right. Cool. Everything in this room is now brown. Um, and we can go ahead and put a dude on this side as well. There we go. Fantastic. We've got an officer's room or something. we got a room. So that's good. 
Nice. Anyway, we've rounded off the hole. We've got those things inside of there, which are great. We're going to delete this button. It's no longer necessary. We don't need that one either. And yeah, we're good to go. The rest of them are kind of necessary. I do want to paint them though. And I do want to delete this. And I want to put in a normal block instead. Because I feel like it fits better. So that's what we're going to do. There we go. Delete that. Put a normal block in. And that definitely does fit better. Alright, we need a speedo now. Speedo! There we go. Grab one of those. And we'll put it on the front. That's fine. Let's go ahead and find somewhere to put it. We do need the magnet on the front as well. But I don't really know where else to put that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the speedo right there. We do need to paint it kind of blue. There we go. Go ahead and paint it blue. And that'll work. Alright, let's go ahead and logic that up. Real quick. To the speedo. To the, to the dial. There we go. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and say that that is the speed. Um, slash S. There we go. Meets per second. Uh, these dudes, they're all A-OK. -okay. That's good. And yeah, we're doing A-OK, -okay, I think. Can I click on these? Display name. Oh, you can put display names on the seats. That's cool. That is really cool. Uh, but for right now, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, right, OK, cool. Now that all that's done... I guess we should give it a go. We should we should drive the ship a little bit. Yeah, let's just go inside and we'll drive it for a little while. Um, we'll test if the doors still work. Jesus. Yeah, we'll test if the doors work. We'll test if all the things we've actually added work. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go from there. All right, we have to jump over this first though. There we go. All right, cool. I need to sort this out as well. It's definitely something that I want to change. There we go. Open this. Go inside. It definitely needs lights, but it's an okay room. Yeah, that's alright. Let's go outside. And yeah, that's going to be like the captain's quarters. We should then have like a kitchen down here somewhere. Maybe there. Kitchen right there. Um, have a canteen sort of area in here. If we go down these stairs and we run all the way down here, this will be the sleeping area. And we should also have some portholes on the side. Yeah, I should be able to see out. That would be good. That would be really cool. Uh, so let's go down here and have a little look around. Go ahead and delete some holes in here. There we go. Oh, it's just above the layer as well. That's cool. That's good. All right, delete this. Go ahead and put in one of these in white. There we go. Paint this piece. In fact, actually, what if we painted this bit white? There we go. No. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There we go. We want proper things in there. That's okay. Uh, then we'll go to this one. We go forwards. We'll delete that. And then the rest of this. Good. And then we'll go forward slightly more, slightly further. And we'll put another one in. Just here-ish. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, cool. Grab one of these. Put it inside. All right, cool. Put it inside. There we go. Cool. And put it inside. All right, cool. There we go. Go ahead and do this. And this. And this. No, I don't like those. I don't think I like those. But I don't want to turn it blue. Because then the inside wall has to be kind of blue. Because obviously the potholes paint both sides. You know? Unless... We just did like a, a wall of blue. Okay, this could work. We'll just do a wall of blue. There we go, all the way to this one. There we go, do it all the way back down. Uh oh, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. All right, do this all the way across. Do this one all the way across as well. And then all the way across the middle piece. There we go. All right, paint those two white. And that'll do, that'll do me completely fine. Uh, right, we're going to get rid of these as well. I don't want these anymore. I don't want to be able to en enter into this bit. So we'll delete all of that. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and fill in this piece. There we go. Good. We need to do it on both sides, though. Why have I done that? It's not doing it on both sides. Oh, this sucks. All right, anyway, we have fixed the situation on the side of the boat. So if we go in the front, we can have a little look at what's going on. There we go. We got our little portholes on both sides. Beautiful. There's probably not enough there. We might need, like, another two or something. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start her up, and we're going to get her moving. So we'll go ahead and do this, and we'll do this. There we go. That should start her moving. Beautiful. We are still a little bit out of balance. Yeah, we, we do have a little bit of a, a balance issue, but that's okay. We can go ahead and... So that out very soon. That's that's fine. Uh, it does get back to normal pr pretty quickly, so that's that's not too bad. All right, cool. Now that that's doing that, that's great. We'll go ahead and open up the door. There we go. Fantastic. It's not really supposed to be opened while we're moving, but that's fine. If we go down the stairs, we can have a little look in here. There we go. Uh, we can go inside the, this room. That's good. We can go all the way down the stairs, and we can see outside, which is fantastic. That is really cool. That is really really cool. 
And uh, yeah, we can go on both sides. That is good. That is really cool. Uh, so we do actually need to uh, add more weight towards the front because obviously the back end is going lower in the water than the front is. And yeah, the door is wide open as well. So the door is actually working, which is great. Obviously, the front door doesn't work just yet, and they both probably need to be on the same lever. Uh, but for right now, they're, they're on separate ones, which is, I guess, fine. Um, I might even put them on deck as well, instead of having them up here. So, uh, yeah, for now, we'll leave them as they are. But if we go ahead and close this up, it should end up closing pretty nicely. All right, there we are. So that that's what it looks like when it's all the way down. We'll go ahead and we will press some buttons and we'll see what happens next. There we go. All right, did that fix it? No. We do have a few issues with this. Like it still it still does break a little bit if you uh, if you let it. <laughs> if you let it break, it does break. That is exactly what happens. So basically, you just need to make it merge back over. We'll go ahead and push this button again, and we'll start going down the other way. There we go, and we'll see what happens this time. It's it's gonna break again. I I know why it's doing it as well. I I know exactly why it's doing it. Uh, but this doesn't fix it in this situation. Because, um, yeah, the things in the middle need to rotate quicker. Which, at the minute, they don't. So, uh, yeah, door's broken a little bit still. But that's okay, we can fix that. And, um, yeah. Anyway, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.